nuts with the curling tongs or the straighteners in my case and you've created a basically a poodle situation yeah that's what I've done uh, apologies for my hair it's absolutely insane I don't know what I was doing I just kind of went a bit nuts um but yeah let's look past that let's look past my bright red lips that are much brighter than I expected them to be let's look past the fact that my cat keeps attacking things on the floor although she has settled down with it now so that's okay um, and let's crack on so as you've probably guessed from the title of the video these are my December favourites now as you know I'm a perfume fiend bloody love it I'm not going to keep saying that every video I think that's the last time I'm going to say it I love perfume putting it out there end let's just call it 10 this is a nice even number i have about 10 perfumes that i kind of tend to rotate throughout the year i'm definitely going to do a perfume video like as in my favorite perfume videos soon just to talk about my favorite ones but the one that i've been particularly loving in december is one of my all-time favorites and probably my most expensive perfume so i reuse it very rarely and it's my chanel number no. five L L i don't know how you say it lao 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 yeah chanel number no. five lao I don't know if you can even, yeah, you can, there you go. Um, one, this smells insane, like absolutely lovely. It's one of those that really grows on you. Like when you first spray it, it's a little bit like, you're like, mm, that just smells okay, but nothing -y. Then it starts to develop on your skin and it's just so beautiful. And I mean, Chanel number no. five is an iconic perfume, but this one just adds a little bit of freshness. It's not as musky, it's not as deep, it's not as heady. Because I find the ones like Chanel number no. five and the kind of old school perfumes to be quite heady um, and not as fresh and light as like the newer ones. But yeah, this one, I think because they've developed it into this fairly new um, variation of Chanel number no. five, it is a lot lighter and much more like the kind of perfume that I would enjoy. I actually, Luke actually got me this about two years ago. He was coming back from somewhere. He got it for me from me at the airport. Um, it's just like a present, but I loved it. Absolutely love it. And I think because the bottle is so beautiful, is that not the most perfect perfume design you've ever seen? I don't think you can beat that as a perfume design. Hang on, I've got to let the cat out of the room. <sighs> um, so yeah, I really love this one, and because it is quite expensive, I use it so rarely. So this time of year, Christmas, and it's my birthday in December as well. I tend to. Uh, Crack out the Chanel because, you know, treat yourself. The next thing that I've been loving a lot this month is this moisturiser. I used to use it a long time ago. I haven't used it for a while. I've been using different ones. But it was on offer in Boots um, a couple of weeks ago. And I was just like, yeah, I'll try that again. I used to really like that. And it is so nice. It's the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Daily Balancing Moisturiser. I actually lost the lid, which is a bit annoying. But that's what it looks like. Um... And I really, really recommend it if you're prone to breakouts, you have quite spotty skin, oily skin, combination skin, any, or sensitive skin actually, any skin type where you kind of need a bit of extra help when it comes to preventing breakouts and, you know, preventing oily skin and that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, it's a really lovely moisturiser. You don't need a lot of it. You just have a tiny bit and it, it really does work nicely on your face. <laughs> face. I really, really like it. And yeah, I think it does definitely helps with clearing up your skin. This time of year, I mean, I don't know about you, but for me, my diet isn't as good. You know, you're eating a lot of sweets, a lot of chocolates, a lot of, um, you know, stuff that's not so good for you, cheese and whatnot, drinking a lot of alcohol, um, not perhaps not drinking as much water as you should, perhaps not doing as much exercise as you should. So all those kind of things will affect your skin. Um, so my skin is never that great in December. So little things like this that help stopping it get too bad, really, you know, I really appreciate using. So yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this. Well. So staying on the same kind of theme, um, my fate, I've got a few shower gels on the go. I'm still loving uh, Rose Jam from Lush. I use that quite a lot. Luke actually got me quite a big bottle for my birthday. So yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with that. But um, the other sort of shower gel that I've been using quite a lot is the Cow Shed Grumpy Cow Uplifting Bath and Shower Gel. And that's what the bottle looks like. Can you see that? I'm definitely a grumpy cow in the morning, so this works a treat. <laughs> Lovely, um, how do you describe it? It's quite citrusy, it's like grapefruit, orange. Yeah, it's a really lovely fresh smell. Yeah, I can't smell that well because my cold. It is a really lovely fresh smell, really uplifting as it suggests. And yeah, I really enjoy using it. I got this particular one, it's quite a small bottle. I got this particular one from TK Maxx because they do sell the cow shed range. It is quite expensive if you bought it directly from cow shed, I think. Um, but 
definitely worth it because they are really lovely products. I've used the hand washes and hand lotions and other various different products. I've stayed in a few hotels that have these as their like products. So yeah, they're, they're really, really lovely. But yeah, check out TK Maxx if you haven't come across them before and you're not sure where to find them or you just want to get them a little bit cheaper. They're usually cheaper in TK Maxx. But yeah, this particular one, Grumpy Cow, is really, really lovely. Okay, so the last thing for kind of beauty makeup is an eyeshadow. I really like wearing copper on my eyes because it really brings out the blue and well, I just love copper, to be honest, full stop. I was in MAC with Vicky when we stayed in London and I found this really really gorgeous copper pigment and it's just called copper and um, but it's in this little pot like this uh, there you go it is just basically loose like copper shadow is, is, is the only way to describe it. it is pigment so it is really as it suggests pigmented <laughs> um I don't know how the best way to show you I'm gonna attempt to put a bit in my hand to show you oh so nice there you go I put a bit on my hand I don't know if you can see that very well I wait for it to focus. Oh, help me. Stays on your eyes all day long. Um, I should have worn it today actually in this video to show you, but I'll insert a picture if I've got one of me wearing it. I actually use that alongside the Urban Decay, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? Back in one minute. I use it alongside this, which is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which is basically an eyeshadow primer and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've used this for quite a long time, but I actually got myself a new tube for my wedding day just because I didn't have it in like a big tube. Um, but yeah, I pop this on my lids first, then I use the pigment, and they just it just stays on your eyes all day long. It looks absolutely lovely. Um, so yeah, I would recommend getting a primer, not necessarily this one, but this one is a good one. Getting yourself a primer, getting yourself some pigment for the colour colour that you want, and yeah, you'll get a really lovely effect. Okay, so moving on to food, as it is December, you know, food. Um, kind of got to mention these bad boys because who doesn't eat loads of these in December? Mince pies. Yeah, these particular ones are from M&S, which are really, really lovely. The ones, my favourite ones actually, actually two, my two favourite ones I've had. M&S do a mince pie that has frown Japan on the top, which is absolutely lovely. Really enjoyed those. But also, they're from I got one from a little bakery down the road from us in Whitstable, which was made with spout flour. So it was it was mince pie made with spout flour, and that was so good. Really, really enjoyed that. So yeah, kind of had to mention mince pies. It's December. Be rude not. And then food again, because as I said, it's December. I've really been like enjoying popcorn lately. Now popcorn is really low calorie. Like I get these, we get these little mini bags from Tesco. They're only 57 calories for a bag and they're just a really great snack. Like they're a really good snack like in between meals if you're a little bit peckish. And because we've been watching a lot of films recently doing our kind of 100 movie bucket list poster. If you don't watch my vlogs basically we have a poster up in our kitchen and we've been going through watching all the films on the poster and every time you watch one you scratch off the square. So there's 100 on the poster, you scratch off the square when you've watched one and eventually you have all the squares scratched up. <laughs> All the squares scratched. All the squares scratched off, which creates like a really nice poster which we're planning to frame once we watch them all. But because we've been watching loads of films, you need snacks with films, and this is the perfect snack. Obviously, popcorn and films is the thing that you do. I haven't invented that. <laughs> I've really been enjoying popcorn this month. Random, but it's true. So the next thing I've been loving on the kind of food and drink theme is red wine. Now I love wine in general, as I've mentioned before, and I love gin. Um, so wine and gin are my two favorite alcoholic drinks. But this time of year, it's colder, you want something a bit cozier, I always go for red wine. I mean, I do like white wine still at this time of year, don't get me wrong, and I love a bit of Prosecco, I love a bit of Bubbles, but red wine would be my favorite drink during the kind of winter months, just because it's a lot cozier. Um, I'll insert um, a picture on the screen now of the particular wine that I've really been enjoying this month. It's actually from Aldi, and I think it's about 5 99 but I'll put the price on the screen as well. Um, but yeah, so red wine has been a good, has been a big favourite in December. Um, and the last thing that's kind of food related is Luke got me a Nutribullet for my birthday. I've had one before. I used to use it every single day. Um, I used to love making smoothies and juices. And yeah, like I say, I used it every day, literally every day. I'd usually have a smoothie for breakfast. Or if I didn't have it for breakfast, I'd have like an afternoon snack. 
Um, but yeah, so because I use it so much, that one essentially blew up. <laughs> so I asked for another one this year because I've missed having my smoothies. I haven't had a neutral lip for about a year, so I've missed making smoothies. And Luke got me one for my birthday, got me this really pretty, um, like rose gold coloured one. I'll insert a picture on the screen now. So my birthday was on the 20th of December, and I've been loving using it in the last sort of week. It's just, it, I just love having smoothies, especially ones that you make yourself because you can just add exactly what you want and what you need into there. So my kind of go to smoothie which I've been making for the last few days so I've had a bit of a cold so I've been having them every day just because I wanted to kind of you know put some goodness into me and feel better but yeah I've been having frozen berries frozen mango spinach uh ginger so fresh ginger chopped up and thrown in an orange a lemon um and some chia seeds and then I've popped in some either coconut water water or orange juice as like my liquid to like mix it all up together and that has just been so good it's not something to give your immune system a bit of a boost make you feel better give you more energy then I really recommend that particular smoothie um but yeah I mean as a rule I'll chuck in anything into there to be honest any fruit I've got I like buying frozen fruit because it's cheaper and it lasts longer you just have it in your freezer and you can just chuck it in as you need it um but yeah i always tend to have berries as like my base and spinach because you kind of chuck it in and you don't taste it so you don't know it's there but you're adding some goodness in so berries and spinach is usually my base and then i'll chuck in anything else on top of that um but yeah and if if you're not a fan of chia seeds because you don't like the texture then chuck chia seeds into a smoothie you get the benefits from them but you don't really taste them so yeah anyway i've got I've no doubt i'll be talking about more about smoothies coming into the new year because i'll be making a lot more of them but yeah I've been loving making them in the last part of December, so I wanted to mention it in this video. Okay, so I always like to mention something I've been listening to in these videos and something I've been watching. And so, you might not know if you're not a fan of darts, and I'm sure a lot of you aren't a fan of darts, but if you are into darts, you'll know that every December it's the World Championships. And I have to watch it because Luke's a massive darts fan. He plays darts himself, but he loves watching it as well. So I have to watch it. I don't mind watching it to be fair, it is quite enjoyable, it kind of reminds you of Christmas because that's kind of what we do now, so um, yeah, I don't mind watching it actually, it can be quite fun, um, but one thing I will say, Sky Sports have really upped their game in terms of their soundtrack for the darts this year, I think, um, and the quite a few songs have been played that I've gone, oh wow, what's that song, what's that song, I've been constantly shazamming songs whilst the darts have been playing, and the one that I shazammed the, about a week ago, it was like early on in the darts, and I keep listening to it, I just can't stop listening to it, it's a Chase and Status song. It's such a good tune, but you know you kind of just forget certain songs exist. I kind of forgot about this song. A song called All Goes Wrong by Chase and Status. And because I've been listening to this loads, it's then made me listen to other Chase and Status songs that I used to really like. So this is All Goes Wrong. I don't know what it is about that song but I just can't stop listening to it and I, I think it's the words I think it's like basically saying that whatever happens you know I'll sort it out and I love that <laughs> I love that kind of thought process it's kind of what I try to do myself you know whatever happens you'll be all right you'll sort it out um so yeah Chosen Data has been loving them this month nothing new obviously but yeah just, just been really really enjoying listening to them music. I've mentioned before in my vlogs that I attempted to watch Luther with Luke a little while ago. We watched one episode. I really enjoyed it, but Luke didn't. Or he didn't, I, I think he did, but I just don't think crime is really his thing. He doesn't just doesn't enjoy it like I do. So any kind of crime TV shows or real crime stuff, he's not really a massive fan, whereas I love it. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so we watched one episode together. He didn't particularly like it, and I did, but I didn't carry on watching it myself I don't really know why but I just didn't but I found out that the new series is coming out in January I thought I really want to watch the rest of it and then be able to watch series five so for the last couple of weeks I've been pretty much binging Lufa in and out of doing other things obviously but when I've had some time to myself I've been watching Lufa and it's just absolutely incredible I think it's like I think it's probably up there with one of my favorite tv programs of all time because it is just so good so different from any other like um police related tv show like there's so many of them isn't there so many police police based tv shows like crime tv shows but it's just so unique and so 
it's just brilliant like Idris Elba is absolutely insane as Luther he's very good looking so that helps <laughs> but he's an absolutely amazing actor like he's just so good um so unique so good and I really like Ruth Wilson who plays Alice as well I think the two of them together are just phenomenal so yeah I mean if you haven't watched Luther you have to watch it it just is like um it has really unique stories that kind of twist around and Luther isn't necessarily all he seems all the time but you know he's always doing what he does for the good of whatever the situation is so and there's a few bits in it I won't say too much in case you haven't watched it and decide to watch it there's a few too few twists and turns in it that were just just blew my mind a little bit I was just like this is insane this is incredible television so yeah Lufa absolutely been loving that this month can't wait for the new series to come out. I was absolutely gutted that series four is only two episodes. Like, I was desperately hoping that it would just meant that Netflix didn't have them, but apparently there were only two episodes. I absolutely loved watching Lufa. So yeah, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Okay, so that's, that is all my favorites for December. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for supporting my channel this year as well. I've really, really appreciated it. And yeah, looking forward to what we can create in 2019. Oh my god, crazy. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Click on the link below to subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you soon. Bye!